Alright, I hope everybody's doing alright and having a good day. This is the latest round of the Retro Swap Box. And let me tell you, um, you guys are really missing out if you're not participating in something like this. Um, this has really been fun. This is the fourth round, and every time it comes around to my, uh, my turn, I really enjoy opening the, these, uh, swap boxes you never know what you're going to get and it's always a tough decision to what to keep and what to send and one of the hardest things is is that I want to um, send so much stuff along into the swap box that I really can't fit it all and it's hard to choose what goes in the swap box when I send it off to the next person but anyway without further ado I'm going to cut this open and we'll see what's in there and see what kind of surprises there are. Alright, so here we go. Now if I cut myself on camera, um, this is going to be a short video. Wow. It's always it's always fun to see uh, what kind of shape the box is in. Um, this is actually I think I'm the I'm the fourth person in line. I'm not quite sure. Either the fourth or the third, and I'm in fact I'm the one that um, set the um, rotation. I should I should know, but it's hard to keep track and remember. Almost here. It looks like. Uh, somebody uh, used tape to reinforce insides of this. My goodness. This is some thick, thick stuff. Alright. First to greet me is this Star Wars 8 track. Star Wars uh, original soundtrack composed and conducted by John Williams. I'll, t I'll, t I'll tell you, I don't have an 8-track player, but if I did, I would play this sucker every now and then. Uh, I have it on MP3 and CD and every other kind of format. And I'm thinking that this might be a keeper because <laughs> I love Star Wars. And I love the soundtrack. Let's see what else is in here. Let's see here. Atari Plug and Play. This is the one that uh, is just a joystick. It has the AV cables. I, ha I have a, a Flashback 9, whichever the last one is. The one with the HDMI out and the SD card slot. I think it's nine. Anyway, not too bad. I'm gonna hide a little bit just to, for some surprise. Ooh, a Sega Genesis three button controller. Pretty good. Looks like it's in good shape. The uh, Sega Genesis Mini that's coming out, I think it's in mid September or something. It's going to have a three button controller with it and a lot of people are not happy they want the six button but these um, there's a uh, I've done this hack to the three button controller for the Genesis for the ColecoVision I don't know if I've done a video on it or not but um, yeah that's a good good um, hack to do a mod Okay, let's see what else we have. This is a... What is this? Mad Cats. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. With the swap box, you really never know what you're going to get. Let's see here. What else, what else to show you next? Pokemon the movie. The first movie, excuse me. 
That's pretty cool. My son might actually want to watch that. He's really into Pokemon. Um, and I do have a VHS player. Might get to put, put this to good use. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Super Mario Brothers Wii Manual. Excellent, excellent game. Jet Set Radio Future. You know, I have the Dreamcast version of this game. I don't know if I've got... I, I don't think I have the original Xbox version. Mario Party 8 for the Wii Manual. Two manuals. Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess Manual. GameCube Precautions Booklet. Ooh, what is this? Looks like a Seattle Seahawks trading card display. Russell Wilson, Richard Sherman. <laughs> okay. I'm not personally a um, Seattle Seahawks fan, but you never know what I might keep. Let's see here. PlayStation Crash Bandicoot. Awesome. I have some Crash Bandicoot um, CDs or games for the PlayStation. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. I'll have to check my stash. Now this is, I believe, this is a CD that I included with the very first Retro Swap Box back in February. The Beastie Boys Anthologies. This is CD1. I had both CDs going through. So maybe whoever sent this kept the other CD. Let's see. Yeah, this is just the one CD. Anyway, I actually had two copies of this, and that's why I put it in the first swap box. Let's see. Sky Odyssey. For the PlayStation 2. Gotta be careful with those discs. And 007 Nightfire. Fire. I actually have the case for this because I bought it with the CD, but the CD was just trash. And the CD might not be a, a, too much better, but we'll see. Superman Returns for the PlayStation 2. I have not played that one. Mm. Ooh, take it. Take and tur and tag tournament. Hmm. For the PlayStation 2. I do like some Tekken. Loaded for the PS1. An Xbox game disc. Look like a demo disc. Ghost Recon. Uh, Quantum, Redshift, Reign of Fire, other stuff included. Okay, let's move on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. And it is severely sun damaged. Label. Hmm. I don't know too many people that have an NES and don't have this copy of this game. Might not be as sun faded though. Gotta give it that for originality. Oh, a busted up uh, labeled Defender. This was actually one of my favorite games when I was growing up uh, playing the Atari 2600. I love this game and so many people trash it, but. I enjoyed it because that's simply what I had, you know. Uh, let's see. And I never did get to the arcades. Um, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, so I didn't get to go to the arcades. So this is uh, Berserk. Uh, another good game for the Atari 2600. Circus Atari. This is actually a paddle game. Bulls versus Blazers, NBA Playoffs. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. Oh, look, it's Bowser. Ho, 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 ho. 
looks like he's missing like some kind of I would bet it's a fire projectile that he's missing and then there's the button kind of funny that it's right on his butt isn't it you push his butt and something comes out of his mouth <laughs> it looks like a skeletor no 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 see the web feet I'm thinking this is merman from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I'm thinking this is Merman. I don't think it's Skeletor. It's purple and blue, but I think it's a uh, Merman. <laughs> Leg. Let's see. Oh. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> it was Skeletor. He's um seen better days. I'm guessing that that uh, Skeletor had his legs when he was put in here, and they just didn't um, survive the uh, the track over here. Poor Skeletor doesn't even have his um, sword. Ooh. Check this out. That is pretty darn cool. Sony, this is um, pretty cool. I have to say I'm not really familiar with this game. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed, but... Um, Not Gears of War. I've I've run across some uh, Gears of War stuff like this, but um, I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know who it is. Let's see here. What else do we have? Looks like a fence. Wait a minute. This fence goes. Right cheer. Or maybe it's the other way. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it goes here. Let's see here. Some Atari 2600 paddle controllers. You hear that inside? There's some plastic broken in. On the, on, on the inside, but um, I would bet that this thing, these are still savable. I've um, saved a, quite a few paddle controllers in my lifetime. Uh, they're actually, uh, they're, I would say that they're easy to fix, but they're just tedious. It's just a lot of work to save them. Nintendo 3DS uh, game case. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad if you want to keep uh, keep your games with you, but you don't want to be hauling around a bunch of cases. I could see that. I could see that. We have Doom for the Xbox. Sims 2 for the Xbox. I got into um, Sims for the PC a while back while I was still single and um, living by myself. And um, I don't, I haven't played it much on console, but maybe it's time to start. Halo 2, classic. The original Halo, another classic. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PlayStation 2. That's a, I like these better than the um, new ones that have come out recently. Um, I just do. Uh, let's see. Guitar Hero 2 for the Xbox 360. 
I'm not qu quite completely sure if I have this one. And it costs $3.99. All right, rounding it up. Splinter Cell, Stealth Action with Redefined. And I will tell you that um, if you're into modding, um, this game is important. That's all I'll say about that. We, Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, actually do not have this one. I have the... Um, uh, the entire saga, whatever it's called, that has the prequels and the sequels, not um, prequels and the um, the original trilogy on it. So this one actually would will complete if I choose to keep it. My collection. Ooh, Dega Sports Three. All right, it's got. Uh, Lacrosse, half pipe, um, some volleyball, and other sports. Hmm. You know, that might be a keeper. <laughs> Johnny Cash, hits and classics. There we go. Disc one. Let's see if disc two is in here. Sure enough. Um, now I'm I'm sort of a music fan, but um, I will tell you this: I'm not much of a country music lover. I'm more of a a rock music kind of guy. Um, actually, I like a lot of different kinds of mu music. Um, and some of some of Johnny Cash's stuff you would actually consider rock. But, uh, I don't know about this one. And that does it for the retro swap box. I gotta sort things out, see what I want to keep, and, and try to figure out what a, how to put in what I want to put in. And uh, that actually, maybe a couple of days before I get this one out to the next, uh, send this someone out to the next guy, but um, be looking out and for more of these type videos. I hope you have a great day and, and, and enjoy life. Thank you very much.